Hi, this is Joy at Red Pen Quilt Shop. Today we're going to talk about using bias pressing bars to make strips for things like the stems on the flower appliques that you see behind me. So to work with a pressing bar, these are sometimes called bias bars. You may call, see them called loop pressing bars, but they are a heat resistant plastic that you can press on top of. Now for the project behind me, we needed a quarter inch wide stem. So I have a quarter inch wide bias bar in my hand and to figure out how wide to cut your fabric you're going to double the size of your bias bar and add a half an inch and then add an eighth of an inch. The half inch is for your seam allowance and the eighth of an inch is to give you just enough a little extra room to get your bias bar inside the tube or the loop after you sew it. So you will put the fabric wrong sides together, sew it with a normal quarter inch seam, and I've sewed mine in red so you guys can hopefully see it here on the video. And then after you have sewn it, and remember wrong sides together, you will trim it down to about an eighth of an inch. So I've trimmed this portion of it. Then you're ready to insert your bias bar. You will go ahead and tuck that in. And then you can easily roll that seam to the back side of your stem and press it. And you can press right on top of this material. After you've pressed it, you'll go ahead. You can sl keep sliding this through your tube as you go if you have a longer tube. After you've pressed it, I usually press it on the back and then I press it on the front. And then after I take my bias bar out, I press it again. And you will have a wonderful strip of fabric that looks like this. It is totally enclosed. There are no raw edges on the front side and you can use it for stems on appliques. So it's a great way to make those narrow little stems when you need them for applique projects. Thanks for joining us today. You can find this tool on our website at redpinequiltshop.com.